Hey everybody and happy Black History Month. My apologies for my voice. I am feeling under the weather again today because Houston weather is bipolar. So today we're going to highlight Mr. W.E.B. Du Bois. William Edward Burgard Du Bois was born on February 23rd, 1868 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. He was a scholar, educator, and author. Du Bois studied at Fisk University and then earned a BA and MA and in 19 and sorry in 1895 a doctoral degree at Harvard University in Massachusetts the first African American to earn a PhD there. He briefly taught at Wilberforce University in Ohio and at Tuskegee Institute and for a far longer time at Atlanta University. For a time in the 1890s, he shared common goals with Booker T. Washington, but by the next decade, he had become committed to full civil and political rights for all African Americans. He was one of the founders of the National, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP, in 1909. He edited its crusading magazine, The Crisis, from 1910 to 1934. He participated in many international conferences, all focused on the people of the African in the African disappear from London in 1900 to Paris in 1919 and England again in 1945. In 1961, he moved to Ghana, the first of the newly independent nations in sub-Saharan Africa. There he continued his work until his death on August 27, 1963. Shortly after, he had become a citizen of his adopted country and the day before the March on Washington for freedom and jobs. W.E.B. Du Bois, many books include The Souls of Black Folks, 1903, which is a very good book, and Black Reconstruction in America, 1935. So, let's give our love, blessings, and honor to Mr. W.E.B. Du Bois, thank you so much for making a change and a difference in the African-American community.